Hey gang, Bronco Carl 92 here. So it's uh, Saturday night, May 18th, the day that never ends. So um, it's about uh, 8.45 and um, i got to go pick my brother up at the airport. He's got a flight coming in around midnight. So i uh, got to keep myself busy, I guess, until... Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Um, until... Uh, you know, I go pick them up, but I've got some other stuff that I got to get done, so uh, that uh, didn't get done during the day. So uh, I'll show you what I got now. So uh, my buddy Mark. Wants me to repower this uh, this sensation mower here. Um, it's interesting. This mower has got the original engine on it. So uh, it doesn't run bad, but he just says it doesn't have enough power for him. So I don't know what these serial numbers on here mean. If there's a date code on here, I have no idea when this thing was built. So anyhow. Uh, Here's our new motor. Sorry about the shaky camera there. It's a uh, 675E Riggs. Um, it's got six and three quarter gross torque. They don't rate these things in horsepower anymore, I guess. So uh, that's what we're going to be replacing that engine with. It's going to look funny. This modern engine on that uh, that very vintage looking deck. Um, I have a Sensation mower and. I don't think there's anything that cuts quite like them, so uh, I think they're awesome. So, anyhow, let me uh, get this thing flipped over, and uh, I'll put you back on in a bit. All right, so let me get the blade off. I'm sure the blade adapter is not going to come off easy. It's been on this motor since. Uh, my other grass looking smell good. never understood why when they built these things they didn't just put all the bolts going up. You would think you'd want to protect the thread. You know what, that's going to be interesting if I don't pull that Woodruff key out of there. If interesting would be the, the correct expression, maybe a pain in the ass. <laughs> All right, so we'll drift keys out. All right, let's see if I can flip this over without. There's a plate and one motor. All right, so I just have our new engine sitting up on the uh, the vise here. I have to uh, put 
this baffle here on the muffler and then I have just have to override the, uh, the safety brake. Um, basically, uh, you know, because of uh, oh, litigators and everything, they have this uh, a safety brake on the engine. So, you know, there's a cable that basically, once you let go of the cable, it stops the blades. But, of course, Sensation doesn't have that. So, they just give you this little link here that you, you put on the choke slot in there and you... Just give it a little bend. So I'll uh, I'll do that real quick, and then uh, I'm gonna drop the engine back on. Okay, one thing I think I forgot from when I converted my sensation over to a new motor is this bolt hole requires a longer bolt. And I just looked through my new bolts, and I don't have any. So I'm gonna look through that now. Uh, the bucket of bolts that I've been uh, wanting to throw out. And every time I think about throwing it out, I uh, suddenly need a bolt and dig through there and find what I need, and I decide to keep it. So let me uh, rifle through here and uh, see what I can find. All right, so the easiest way I found to dig through this is just dump it out on a towel or a rag. Now, a lot of the stuff that's in here is metric back from my water cool Volkswagen days but there's some standard stuff in here too just gotta dig a little bit there's obviously some things that I know are not right there, so I throw them back in the bucket so now of course we always could use a metric bolt if it's got a nut on it right Plus, uh, this is a 5 16 bolt, and this is 8 millimeter. That's actually the same, the same size. I don't know if anybody is really going to mind if I do that. No, I'm not. That looks like a winner to me. Sold. I don't know how Briggs does it nowadays anyway, so that motor might actually be uh, metric anyhow. All right. I think I know why they put the one bolt through there like that. And my guess is so when you put it on its side, you have something to grab. Sounds reasonable at least. Don't forget to line your hole up for your, your drain plug. Yeah, you probably should clean the grass off, but... new metric friend
looks good. Alright. Woodruff key. helps when you put a woodruff key in that you kind of tilt it down towards the front so it doesn't bind up when you go to stick your adapter on. I think I'll run that down with the bolt instead of on it and our blade is nice and sharp so we don't have to do anything with that Settle for a minute. I'll check the oil. I think these things are shipped empty. There's no, uh, yeah, it looks empty to me. There's no sticker on here that says you should fill it with oil. That's not very smart. All right, let's put some oil in that. All right, so I filled up with uh, 20 ounces of oil. I put some gas in it, and uh, let's see if it starts. So, so fast, prime, prime feels empty. Let's see what happens. a new engine to start. All right, well, he can pick that up tomorrow. All right, so that uh, that wasn't too bad. So uh, anyhow, I think uh, what I'll do is I'll run inside and uh, we'll get this video uploaded and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. So uh, as always, thanks for watching and take care.